Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Monica Guza. Well, as we go through the evening, things are beginning to quiet down for us. We saw some thunderstorms roll through earlier today. Another roll, uh, another line of storms roll through this evening. And right now, the most active area is right at the Klamath Lake County line where we've got some new storms coming up from the south. But as you can see, the lightning strikes are dying out and we're just seeing some shower activity moving up through Douglas County into Lane County at this hour. But we take a step back and look at the thunderstorms now rolling up in a line into the Seattle Tacoma area and this is going to become a big problem that is a big cell of thunderstorm activity and it is causing a lot of issues in the Tacoma area at this hour so we can feel very fortunate and for us not a lot of activity to the south still a chance for a thunderstorm as we go through the evening time it is still active out there high temperatures today big difference today versus yesterday. 81 in Eugene today for a high. Yesterday we were at 101. 89 in Roseburg today. Yesterday you topped out at 105. 90 in Corvallis. That's not bad because yesterday you were 99, so that's a little closer, but still huge change in the temperatures as we went through the last 24 hours. Still hot though up in the Dallas and Pendleton. Bend only 75 degrees today. Of course, 60s out along the coast. We've got a low pressure system moving in from the west, from the Pacific, bringing in that cool air, that cool ocean air and that low is beginning to rotate through and it's going to come through our area as we go through the day tomorrow so it's going to continue to feed some of those thunderstorms and the unstable air as we go into the next into tomorrow so there is still a chance for thunderstorms but tomorrow because this is a cool system we're going to see more in the way of rainfall than we are thunderstorms for those of you along the coast just expect rain showers tomorrow. High temperatures in the low to mid 60s, mostly cloudy. Into the Empois Basin, temperatures even cooler still with temperatures only topping out in the 70s. More showers, still a chance for an isolated thunderstorm or two. Winds out of the north, five to 10 miles per hour. And into the Cascades, rain and thunderstorms for you. In fact, expect plenty of rainfall as this rolls in high temperatures in the mid 70s. Into Central Oregon, expect some pretty heavy rainfall and thunderstorms, but like I said, more in the way of rain than in thunderstorms versus today, which was more thunderstorms, less rain. Willamette Valley, mostly cloudy with rain showers, a chance for an isolated thunderstorm, especially after 11 o'clock in the morning. So our seven day forecast for the coast, we're gonna see those showers tomorrow. Thursday will kind of be our cleanup day. And then as we head into the weekend, we'll go back to our normal pattern of morning clouds and afternoon sunshine, high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Umqua Basin, showers for you tomorrow, 78 for a high. You'll begin to warm up as we see the sun come back out on Thursday afternoon. Heading into the weekend, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and the sun returns. Cascades, rain and some thunderstorms. Thursday, still some lingering thunderstorms, but not as much rainfall. And then into the weekend, temperatures will warm. The sun will come out mid to upper 70s. And for the Willamette Valley, showers tomorrow with a chance for an isolated thunderstorm. Could even see a little bit of hail. Thursday morning, a chance for a shower. Then the sun comes back out. Notice 70s the next two days. Heading into the weekend, we'll get into the mid 80s and the sun will come out. So still some active weather possible tonight and early, early tomorrow morning. And then as we go into the afternoon. But tomorrow, the big story is more rain, less thunderstorms and very cool. All righty.